There I am trying to see, is the camera on or not? Well, hello there, friends. This is kind of a wrap up over the week of uh, thrifting that I did. I had an opportunity to go into Reno and I made it to five thrift shops that day. I was meeting some friends from college, which was wonderful fun. And uh, so I had a lot of time to kill. At any rate, I want to share with you some of the things that I picked up. We ha currently have a cat display going on in the shop, which I showed you. And so I picked this up and he was $6. I'm going to probably put 15 to 18 on him, but he's just sweet and he'll go nicely with the cat display. Also, I am working on a dog display. I want to show you some of the things I picked up. Now, these are not old. Some, some are very kitschy, but when we put a display together, we try to um, incorporate a variety of things that people might like. Um, and also, 10% uh, of all these dog sales will go to our local uh, dog pound shelter. So at any rate, I picked this up. He's a nice little size and that face is to die for. It's just a little canvas and I paid two dollars for him. We can probably get 12 for him. So Mr. Pug, you're going to be part of the store. All right. Also in keeping with the dog theme, I picked this up just for the fun of it. If it doesn't sell after a while, it was a dollar. I'll put three on it. If it doesn't sell, I'll give it to my son, who's a, a principal at an elementary school. So everything works out that way. Let's move on to the ties, because I happen to pick up some things that I think are very cool. I was looking at the ties in the shop, and I don't usually pick them up, unless, again, they're for my son. So, But I started looking at these, and I thought, wow, I really like this de these designs. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the one that initially caught my eye. Well, as I got to looking at it, Looking more closely, they were a dollar each. Look at this. It says Jerry Garcia, and that's what they are. They're Jerry Garcia uh, ties. So I, I looked them up a little bit, and uh, they're worth about $10 a piece. So I was really excited. Uh, I will try and resell those online. And um, again, what I don't sell will give to my son. Okay, let's see what else we've got going. Little peachy thing picked up. You know, you can get this at any dollar store, but it's going to be perfect for uh, the dog display, which I'll show you probably later on in the week. All right, some of the cooler stuff that we got. Picked up this. This is mid-century, four screens. They're in great shape. So it was it was a dollar for all of these, and I can get six to eight for it. So we're going to put that with our mid-century stuff. Also picked up this platter. I can't remember what it is. It's like, it's not Fiesta Ware. It's uh, thinner. Maybe someone could tell me what it is. But it was a nice color. And um, again, it will display well. So we'll be able to use that. Okay. Why would I pick this up, you ask? Nothing fancy about it. Newly made. Well, in our community, every year we have uh, balloon races on uh, February 14th. It's called Lovers Aloft. So throughout the year, we pick up things that have to do with hot air balloons and stuff, and then we will put those out during that that time. So that's why I picked that up. It was only a dollar. So, all right, let's see what else. Um, Oh, my favorite. I've got a kitty display going on, as you know. Look at this guy I picked up. Let's see if you can see his whole body. See? It was funny. I had him in my cart. And the lady said, she just started laughing. She goes, why, why would anybody buy that? And I said, well, first of all, I really like it. And secondly, I think I can resell it. So he had a little chipping and stuff. So I, um, I 
fixed him up the best that we could and I paid four dollars for him but I'm gonna try and get 15 just because he's made of wood and that expression just kills me so at any rate this is one of my favorite finds of the day all right let's see what else um, this I picked up this is somebody's art piece we have a Native American display, and I think it would just be perfect in there. I paid $2 for this, and I know the beads are worth more than that, but you can kind of see it's it's on a, a rock base, and it's just, it's very kitschy, but also very theme-oriented. So I like it. I'm going to try and get 18 for it. It's, it's art, depending on your opinion or your definition of art. Okay. Also, pick these up for $4.99. This is a whole set of World Market cups in the stand. And of course, it's in the primary colors, and that's just a lot of fun. Someone will use this. I think uh, we are also gonna be doing a display that uh, emphasizes camping. So um, I think I'll put this in that display because I think it would be nice in a, in a travel trailer. Um, I'm gonna put 18 on it. Paid $4.49, we'll put 18 on it. All right, speaking of camping, I picked up this little handmade pillow. Somebody, so look at that. They did all the embroidery and then they pieced it together and then they made a little pillow out of it. What's nice is it's washable because you can take the pillow out of it. So that will go nice in our camping display. We paid $2 for it. I put 12 on it, so it's I like it. Okay, I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, but that's how my cart is. I also picked these up for uh, my dog display. Paid a dollar a pair. I'll put two on them. And remember, part of that will go to the local pound. So I picked up a couple pairs each of those. I hear Woodrow growling at something. He must see something outside. All right, let's see what else I've got here that I can show you. Um, just kitschy stuff that I put with the display. We sell a lot of books in our shop. So this, the store I went to had books on sale for five cents a piece. So this I picked up for a nickel and I'll put a dollar on it. So it'll look perfectly, perfect, excuse me, with the, the dog display. All right. Now I have some things that I put in my, my whatnot box. Oh, there's another story. I finally got accepted to whatnot. I had done the application a couple weeks ago and uh, sent in the pictures as required and they kept saying, well, we need to see more of, you know, the quality of what you have is wonderful, but we need to see if you have the quantity. So I sent them a picture of my shop and I said, this is 4,000 square feet of uh, antiques, etc." And I sent them another picture of just a group shot, and I got an immediate response. So that was encouraging, but I was like, holy cow, how long does this take? But anyway, the following you're going to see, these are all uh, little whatnot pieces. See this little girl? Nothing spectacular about her. Paid a dollar. She's probably worth maybe ten. This little guy is adorable. I paid up on him. I think he was six, but I really liked him. And I looked him up. He's worth about 18 to 20. Okay. This is a princess house owl. And again, we have an owl display going in the store. So that's just going to fit very nicely with that. I paid $5 for that. I'll probably put 12 on him. If he doesn't sell on the whatnot thing. So this is a nice piece of etched glass. Not sure what it's worth, but I really, I thought it was sweet. And it's small, so so as you can see, our whatnot sale is going to start with just some small stuff. We'll give it a shot. This one is beautiful. It's china. Um, it was worth, it was listed worth way more than what I thought. It's Royal Camp Bone China. I picked it up just for my owl display, but appears to be worth quite a bit. All right, these are just little mid-century custard cups. Those are fun. 
um, not worth a whole lot. That market's pretty depressed, but someone might collect them. I mean, I know I like this style. So also, again, this was for my kitty display, but isn't she precious? A little angel kitty. So I'm going to put her in the whatnot sale and see what happens. I'm getting kind of nervous about all that. So this is not all but a fun little trinket box. Again, I'm going to put it in the whatnot sale. I think, I think someone might like it. Look at those cute little legs on it. Okay, and this little guy's a sweetie. Picked him up for the whatnot sale, too. Look at that little mouse. His tail's very, very long. So, I don't know. Maybe it's a ring holder. I don't know. But he's very cute. He's not marked, but I thought he was cute. All right. This little guy, again, trying to just get some small stuff. There's a wolf in there. This is pretty heavy. So, I'm hoping somebody will like that. Here's another princess house piece little pig we sell a lot of pigs here so we're going to give that a whirl and this again is mid-century no chips or anything i'm going to put this in the whatnot sale nicely marked labeled and everything so i'm looking forward to seeing how they, this does all right we're getting there Again, another little mid-century piece has a slight crack. I may just throw it in with the other one. I don't know. We'll see. Then these, these I always thought were like for tea, tea, tall teapots. But this has holes in it like perhaps it was hung. So I don't know. I paid 50 cents for it. So we're, we'll see how we do. It's beautiful if you like that. All right. This little angel here, just a tiny little vase. It's marked Japan on the back, so we're going to see how she does. And then, getting there, we're getting to the bottom. All right, this is another, uh, like a little creamer from that other stuff. So, these are all sweet. Um, I'm hoping someone will like them. Look at my little bluebird. Again, he's small, he's precious, so I'm going to put him in the whatnot sale. I can't remember what I paid for him. I want to say $3, but I can't remember. These I picked up because they were only a dollar, but then I realized there was a little tiny flea bite on the flower. But how fun are those? I'm, I'm partial to yellow, but I will say yellow is hard to sell in the shop. I don't know what it is about yellow, but it is hard to sell. These are kind of cute. Peachy, but cute. All right. This, nothing spectacular, probably from the 70s or 80s. It just reminds me of, you know, that pottery, and I thought that would be good for a whatnot sale. It can go cheap, and we'll see how it does. This little guy has its lid. Isn't he cute? Again, I believe these will all be in the whatnot sale. Paid a dollar for them. So we'll do okay on that. This is, um, I just throw it in with a whole ironstone thing. We sell a lot of ironstone here. It has a different mark on the bottom, but it's a heavier piece. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in whatnot yet or not. So. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So, stop. Here are three pieces of pottery that I picked up. I really like this one, and it does have like a signature on it. I'm learning a lot more about it. This has a very rough, rough edge on it, but I, I liked it. I thought it looked, you know, it'll look good with Native American. And then this is just, I think, like a tourist piece, but it's almost made of like terracotta. And then this piece, you know, I'm just not sure. I just liked it. I thought it would look good in a display. It's not marked or anything, but I liked it. Also picked up this gravy boat. We sell a lot of gravy boats just for people who need gravy boats. So there you go. And then this is one more piece here that I picked up. It's a, a pitcher. And you can see on the inside... 
pretty nice. I like that. I like the size of it. I like the way it lifts. So, so we'll see how we do on that. Okay, again, this is for our dog display, but how adorable is that? We happen to have a child. One of our children is adopted, so I'm always drawn to the word adopted, but this is perfect for pets. And I had to fix it up a little bit, and you can see on the bottom there's a little white spot. I'll fix that. But that that's pretty fun. Coolest basket ever. I paid up for it. I paid eight bucks just because I thought it was just so cute. It was like a basket nest, maybe. I don't know, but I thought it was neat. So I had to pick it up. Picked up this little trinket box, which I thought was just sweet. Oh, there's another little kitty in there. Perfect. Anyway, the trinket box, I just thought, oh, wow, that's just so cool. It'll go with my beatnik stuff. Well, when I started cleaning it, I realized someone had carved Betty in it. So <laughs> that turns it from cool into keech, but I'm still going to try and sell it because I think it's cool. And then this little kitty I picked up for 99 cents. How cute is he? Again, he'll go probably in the whatnot box. He's sweet. I forgot he was even in there. That's always a fun to find a treasure inside a treasure. Oh, so these are the Fiesta Wear plates I was so excited about. Um, they had the original price of $10 each, and then they had been repriced for $3 each. Each, No chips, no cracks. So I know I can get at least 10 to 12 each. And I've always loved Fiesta Wear. The market's cooled, of course, because of the reproductions around. But it's still, I was so excited to get them. The orange is especially hard to find. Speaking of reproduction, this is a reproduction spoon rest. Nicely marked, and you know, I paid three dollars for it. I'll probably put eight or so on it. And here's my ugliest teapot I've ever seen. I don't know if it's Majolica or what. I've been trying to research it, but um, if anybody out there knows, let me know. Here's another one of my big scores this, this canister set. Um, it cost me, uh, let's see, how much was that? Fourteen dollars for the set. And I looked them up. They list anywhere from 50 to 85 So somebody's going to really like that. I think it'll be pretty. And last but not least is this little set here. I wish I had four cups, but I don't. The, at first glance, I thought this was Laurel Birch. But then as I looked at it, it was marked, um, let me see if I... Uh, Judith Geiger, 1987. And I was really happy to find the teapot. It's a little rough right here. There's not really a chip, but it just feels rough to me. So at any rate, this is a nice little set. And I paid, let's see, it was probably $8 for the whole set. Well, when I looked it up, it's worth considerably more. So I'll keep you posted. And it does look like Laurel Birch somewhat. And I like the colors. And we're going to see how we do on that. So anyway, I also picked up these two paintings, and I don't know why. I think it's because the frame just looks so mid-century, the painting. It is an original painting, and it is signed, so let me show you the signature if you can see it. So I was excited about that. There were two of them, and I just thought, those are just so mid-century. So I picked them up. Uh, if anybody knows anything, let me know. Anyway, thought you'd like that. So my little Woodrow is getting tired of being here at the shop with me. It's too boring for him. So we're going to go home and we're going to work on this video. We're going to get it edited a little bit and um, hopefully I can get it posted. So I hope you had a great St. Patty's Day and I hope you didn't have to drink too much green beer. See you soon.